So do you feel so um, cool thing? Yeah, yeah. So you feel you feel like um, lucky to be coming out in this era when everything's more accessible to fans, so they can find out who you are and a lot more easily than they did in the past. Do you feel like that's something that you're and the connection to fans also? Like, do you think that that's going to be easier for you? And is that something something that you're looking forward to, like really connecting with your fans, whereas people in the past were a little more distance from their fans? Well, I guess that, uh, you know, the trick is to to have a good feeling about everything. And uh, I think that you can, because you have the internet, you, you can be, like, closer to your fans in some way. But, again, it needs to have a, a, a distance mm -hmm. in some way. I, I believe that um, you don't know how, you don't need to know everything about yeah. the, the, the band you like. Uh -huh. but, it's an easy way to, to get pictures and yep. uh, get news and stuff uh -huh. like that. And I think that's a cool thing. Yep. Um, uh, and it's definitely here to stay. Yep. <laughs> say that you got the internet and you got all the yep. Twitter and the blitter and the flitter uh -huh. and the yep. <laughs> Twitter and whatever it's all called. Yep. But I guess you have to... <laughs> I, I, don't think, yeah, I don't think there is a way without that. Yeah. There, there is, but no. I think it's it's... It's a good thing to get your things out and yep. to build a fan base and have people uh, being aware of, of that yep. you're playing and you have an album out and yep. <laughs> to find out where to buy tickets and yep. <laughs> everything. Special you can give you can treat people with special things, yep. you know, um, special downloads and uh -huh. stuff like that. That's I cool. think that's cool. You know, I li I like that with yeah. fans I like. And, yep. Uh, so. Yep. So I wanted to ask you a little bit about the um, concert experience for you. I know that you um, opened for Amy Winehouse, um, I think, in Copenhagen. So how was that mm -hmm. experience? Because she's a bit bigger. We, we opened for Amy Winehouse in Copenhagen as our first gig ever. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so we have we had never played before and we were That's hardly crazy. a band. Yep. I mean, me and Lars, we had some songs. We had like six songs ready. And uh -huh. But we had never played with a band before, and we wanted to play, you know, uh, real live music with yep. a real bands. So we gathered our friends and rehearsed uh, one or two times, yep. and then we were on stage and I played for 20 minutes, I yep. think. And it all happened very quickly. And yep. Standing there, uh, she had a carpet on stage, and oh, yeah. I wore like high heels, so I was kind of stuck in the <laughs> carpet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think it was really cool just to be like. Just to jump right into it. Yeah, and definitely. It only got kind of a sold out venue, so yeah, it's a good experience. That's cool. <laughs> it so, started us. Yeah, very cool. So, what is um the live concert experience like for you when you're now obviously you're headlining and and doing other stuff? Like, how is the? Do you enjoy playing live for a band? Do you feel nervous about it, or how does how does it feel for you? Um, we love playing live and um. Even though we like to be in the studio, create music, and be like only the two of us yeah. there, um, wearing your sweater and yep. drinking coffee, <laughs> then it's amazing to to play for your yeah. fans and mm -hmm. to mm, new possible fans. Yeah, experiencing, you know, traveling around the world, yep. and and feel how people react to your music, um, yep. and 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 get that out and it's kind of an, an opener uh, yeah <laughs> without so much energy and you get energy return because yeah. you, you give and you, you get a lot uh, so I think it goes hand in hand for me at least yeah um, I, I think it's a it's a way of um, it's a combination thing yeah if you if you tour all the time I I believe that you can be tired because yeah it's, you burn it's hard it. mm -hmm. to tour a lot of travel and waiting and yep. sound check and Ordering food, yeah, <laughs> uh, all the time. So yep. <laughs> good to be home and yep. gain new energy and reload, and then go out again. Yeah, uh, cool. And I feel that because we play with six people when we play, and we got a horn section. Yeah, and everything. I feel that it's it's kind of new every night because mm -hmm. we got no backing track. So yeah, everything can happen. Yeah, <laughs> even though we stay hundred percent live, <laughs> makes it kind of human in a good way. Yep, still still uh, professional. That's cool. So it's never boring. Nope. <laughs> so
So um, who is one of your um, the acts that you've seen recently that made a big impression on you personally, like in concert? We played in uh, New York last week, and one of the venues was called Mercury Lounge. Uh -huh. And uh, before us, there was a girl band uh -huh. and, uh, playing. They were called The Lights. Oh, yeah. I actually bought their CD after. Oh, show, wow. But, That's uh, cool. <laughs> they're like three girls yep. um, dressed up, and uh -huh. uh, the drums in the middle, and the drummer, she was a girl with like big curly kind of hair, and yep. she was and a little red mouth, and, <laughs> like playing so light on the drums. And it was a bass player with big curly hair, and she yep. was like <laughs> and guitarist, and, and they sang all of them together, like really beautiful harmonies, and it was just. I just stood there, looked at them, and was like, <laughs> back into the world because yeah. they were so pure, and you know, it it was not tight, uh -huh. uh, tight, tight, but yeah. it kind of worked in a really nice oh. '70s way. Yep. And they were really, uh, um, they were really alive to look at. Cool. <laughs> good um, yeah. I like that. It's not that often that you go out and see something you don't know, and you you end up standing there for a whole hour and just yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow yeah taking picture yourself <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so the one last thing i wanted to ask you is um if you weren't in music what would you be doing now with your career career wise oh yeah that's a question what would you do if you didn't do what you know i you know i'm really i'm really i feel so lucky that i'm able to travel and yeah and that uh, we have an album out and and that people go see your or shows yeah. and it's it's like a big dream coming true uh -huh. uh, to, to be able to do that and before that I've worked with so many different things I worked with children and uh -huh. been a bartender and yep. did the dishes in a hospital uh -huh. uh, and I think I wish I will always be able to make music yeah that uh, that I don't lose my ears. Uh -huh. or, <laughs> this uh, is your passion. You know, um, yeah. yeah, you can get damage in your ears and stuff uh -huh. like that. But I think no matter what, I will always make music. Yeah. But, um, and if I should do something else, like every day, uh -huh. it will definitely be something, uh, you know, with, with other people, like working with other people. Yeah. And, yep. and um, yeah, be in contact with other people, do something yep. for other people, you know, like music, <laughs> uh -huh. getting out, uh, giving out some love or frustration or yep. whatever you do <laughs> with your music. So I think it's a cool way to to aff affect other people. I, I, I like to meet other people that kind of yep. brings a feeling, uh, yep. you know, give give me something. And yep. also like music, you know, you have an album and you need to listen to it all the time, yep. every day. And <laughs> I know that feeling. Oh, I want to hear it again and hear it again with your... <laughs> Headphones and yeah, I, <laughs> I must know, connect. I, I must listen to this. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, but if music do that to you, it's yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's about all. So thank you so much for speaking with us.